Hi, and welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Foyer-Beck and Ms. Valuti. Today you'll be learning about order of operations and practice solving some problems with order of operations and few grouping symbols. Let's review the order of operations. Remember PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The P stands for parentheses, which is all grouping symbols. So remember, grouping symbols can mean parentheses, brackets, and braces. Then we have E for exponents, which you don't need to worry too much about in fifth grade. Then we have multiplication or division, whichever comes first from left to right. So you always want to remember left to right. And then lastly, addition or subtraction, whichever comes first from left to right. And those are the order of operations. Let's try solving a few problems to practice. Here we go. So with this problem, the first thing we want to do is set up a PEMDAS checklist. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And I always like to put these little markers to remind myself that it's multiplication or division, whichever comes first from left to right, addition or subtraction, whichever comes first from left to right. So we start with P, which is parentheses, and that means all grouping symbols. And I see that there are some parentheses right here with 12 minus 5. So what we're going to do is start by solving 12 minus 5, which is 7. And then what we're going to do is copy the whole problem exactly as we see written. So we're going to write 4 plus 7, then times 5. And this way, by only solving one step at a time and keeping track, we're going to be able to keep our work very organized and make sure that we're following all of the steps. There are no exponents. Now we have multiplication or division, whichever comes first from left to right. So we're not going to do 4 plus 7 because we need to do 7 times 5 first. So first we will solve 7 times 5, which is 35, and then we will copy the line and we can check off that, and there's no division. And now we're at addition or subtraction. Well, there's only one operation left, and that's addition. 4 plus 35 equals 39. And that is going to be our final answer. Let's try it. again. We have our order of operations. So we have PEMDAS. And with PEMDAS, we always start with the grouping symbols, P for parentheses. So if there were brackets and braces, we would work on those as well, but there's only parentheses here. Now I only want to solve one of them at a time, so I'm just going to work left to right. So the first one I see is 4 plus 4, which is 8. And then I'm going to copy the problem exactly as I see, because I only want to solve one step at a time to keep my work nice and organized. Since we still have parentheses, I'm going to now solve 12 minus 3, which is 9, and copy the problem. And now I'm past the parentheses, there are no exponents, and I'm at multiplication or division. Well, there's only multiplication, so I'm going to solve 8 times 9, which is 72, and that is my final answer. Let's try one final problem. So I'm going to start by making my PEMDAS checklist. And with PEMDAS, I see that I have P for parentheses. So that means grouping symbols. So I notice that we have 7 minus 2 in the grouping symbol. And so I need to solve 7 minus 2, which is 5. And then I'm going to copy the problem exactly as I see written. So I'm copying it step by step. So there's no more parentheses and there's no exponents. Now it's multiplication or division, whichever comes first from left to right. So I see that there's 36 divided by 6, but I also see 6 times 3. Now I want to do 36 divided by 6 first because we talked about it being whichever comes first from left to right. And the first thing you see when you read from left to right is you see the division. So 36 divided by 6 is 6, and then I'm going to copy the rest of the problem. Now I'm going to solve my multiplication, because that comes next, and I get 6 times 3 is 18, 
Again, I'm going to copy the problem. And now I'm on to addition. 18 plus 5 is 23. And that is my final answer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you learned a little bit more about order of operations and solving some problems when you need to use order of operations and there are a couple of different grouping symbols.